I, in this project, we're going to build a model that will detect fraudulent cases in credit card transactions. We're going to do this in two ways, using Hyperdrive and using AutoML. This is the training script we're going to use in this experiment. Here, we'll be able to clean our data and we'll be able to split the data into training and test data set. Let's quickly take a look at the Hypo parameter notebook. Here, we'll see our early termination policy as bandit policy, and we'll see a couple of hyper parameters that we're able to tune. This is our hyperdrive configuration for the experiment. Let's take a look at the run details and see some bunch of interesting information we can get from this experiment. The status shows completed. We've been able to complete this experiment, and uh, we can see the run ID. Here we can see the best metric which gives us an accuracy of 0 0.9968. The run ID is visible here. Now we need to visualize this in Azure ML Studio. Let's head over to Azure ML Studio to see what we've got over there. Here in Azure ML Studio, we can see the experiment status as completed. And we can see some bunch of interesting information, like duration, when it started, and all. Over here too, we have a couple of information. And then we have to get the best model. The best model is the one at uh, with accuracy of 0 0.9988. Let's head over to the AutoML notebook. Here, let's take a look at our data set, the data set we use for this experiment. Our target column is the class column, which tells us whether a transaction was fraudulent or not. Now, let's look at our AutoML settings and then our AutoML configuration. The tax is classification and the primary metric is accuracy. So the best algorithm here is voting ensemble, which gave us an accuracy of 0 0.99963. As you can see, the status shows completed. Let's visualize this also in Azure ML Studio. Here in Azure ML Studio, you can see the status has completed. We can see the best model summary that the algorithm is voting ensemble with accuracy of 0 0.99963. Now we have to print the best run and fitted model, and we've been able to do this and get the information we need from this run. We need to deploy the best model, and the best model is the AutoML model, which gave us a higher accuracy compared to the hyperdrive. Now we save the best model and then we register the best model for the deployment, which we've done here already. Now we need to download the Conda environment file and then define the environment. We need to download the scoring file produced by AutoML. Then we set ACI web service configuration. We then deploy the model as a web service, which we've done here. We have to wait for the model to finish and then display the score URI and Swagger URI. As you can see, the service state is healthy and below we can see the scoring URI and the Swagger URI. Now we need to test this model. For us to do that, we need to take a sample data set and then send requests. We've done this already and we did not enable authentication. Below is the output we got from this experiment. That's the prediction that the model was able to make. Now let's head to Azure ML Studio to now look at the deployed model. We're going to go to the endpoint section We click on the deployed model and here we can see the deployment state as healthy. We can see the rest endpoint and then the Swagger URI. Thank you.